Stunning developments out of Bangladesh today. The military says Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has resigned and fled the country. She was the world's longest serving female leader and her sudden exodus follows weeks of anti-government protests which have led to more than 200 deaths. This is video from local television showing protesters storming the Prime Minister's residence in the capital of Dhaka. Other pictures show demonstrators trying to damage a statue of Hasina's father, who also led Bangladesh before being assassinated in 1975. The military has taken control of the capital region and imposed an indefinite curfew. Journalist Ishan Garg has more from neighboring India. Crowds of protesters celebrated the news in the capital Dhaka on Monday. It's the end of Sheikh Hasina's 15-year rule, a regime that has been accused of becoming increasingly authoritarian in recent years. Thousands had defied the curfew to march on Hasina's residence. Now, reports say she's fled the country after she was seen boarding a military helicopter with her sister on Monday afternoon. Bangladesh's army chief says there will now be an interim government formed under the guidance of the country's president and in consultation with major political players in the country. In a press conference, General Wakar ul Zaman attempted to strike a reassuring note telling protesters that there would be investigations into the deaths of nearly 300 people. The agitation first started in June against a 30% quota in government jobs. Students said it hurt the meritorious applicants and benefited Hasina's supporters. But the movement soon transformed into a nationwide agitation fueled by what experts say is widespread unemployment and inflation. Now, General Zaman has assured the students that the violence will now stop and has asked them to help the army restore peace in the country. Student groups say they are happy that Hasina has stepped down, but argue that a military rule in the country should be, or could be rather, equally problematic. Hasina's Awami League Party assumed power back in 2009 after a similar political crisis led to the formation of a caretaker government in Bangladesh, and political observers believe the country's uh, political future has now once again been plunged into a similar kind of chaos. Meanwhile, reports say internet services are being gradually restored in the country. Ashan Garg for CBC News, New Delhi.